In this video I'm going to be going over setting up perspective guidelines or perspective grids in Photoshop. Um, this method I find quite easy to get my head around um, hopefully it'll be quite easy for you guys to get your head around as well. Um, some people tend to like to use perspective brushes or like to uh, draw out the perspective guides manually. Um, honestly, for me, this method is a bit, bit more easier, a bit more faster, and a bit more effective, at least in my opinion. Um, so, let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to call this perspective guidelines. And basically the first thing you want to do is figure out where you want your horizon line. So um, I'm going to put mine, just put it in the middle. Um, and that's basically, uh, we don't need to use the brush tool again in this method pretty much. Um, next step you want to take is, uh, don't need to worry about making a new layer just yet, but um, what we're going to go to now is our shape tool down the bottom of our toolbar here and what you want to do is just make sure that you set your shape tool to polygon okay uh, once you've done that there's a few settings that you're going to want to change now by default the amount of sides is usually set to about eight um, what you want to do instead is make sure that you change it to 100 and then what you need to change is the indent sides. Now, normally this is set to zero. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you set it to 99%. Uh, it's very important. And then just make sure that this little checkbox next to star is checked and ticked, because that's also very important in order to make this actually work. Um, and once you've done that, pretty much uh, you're ready to start dropping in your vanishing points along the horizon line. So we'll start off with something simple. Just put our vanishing point smack bang in the middle of the canvas here and just click and drag. And of course you can rotate this star as well. And you'll see that it draws out this, uh, this star. Um, and sure that you guys will all be able to tell what this looks like. A perspective grid, or perspective lines, perspective guidelines. Um, and as you can see, very neat, very tidy, very effective. Now, what if we want two-point perspective? Well, again, that's very simple to accomplish. Um, just set my vanishing points off the side here. So one. And I like I like to set them a fair way off the canvas just because uh, you know otherwise I tend to get a skewed kinda distorted look to my environment paintings. So just drag that out like so. Once you're happy with it, hit enter. Now you can see that there's a pretty big gap between these perspective guidelines. Uh, in order to fix that and give us a bit more to play around with, uh, just make sure that you grab your polygon shape and drag it down to duplicate it. Hit Control T, and all we're going to do is just rotate ever so slightly. And you'll see what that does is it effectively doubles the amount of perspective guidelines we have to use. Okay, so we'll go over to the opposite side and do the same thing. Click and drag. Hit enter once you're happy with it. And again, I'm just going to drag this down to duplicate it. Hit control T rotate and hit enter like so okay now uh, 
that's basically uh, all that there is to this method. As you can see, it's very fast. It's very simple to set up. Um, of course, if you want three-point perspective, it's also very easy to set up. Simply grab your third vanishing point. So we'll put it down the bottom here. Hit enter once you're happy with it. And we can double the amount of perspective guidelines. We've got to play around with this one as well. Control T, rotate, enter. And there we have it, our perspective grid ready to go for our environment painting. Now, once you're happy with your perspective grid, the next step you're going to want to take is merging these down all into the one layer, like so. Now, this is really probably the most time consuming part of the whole, whole process because these sh shapes are all kind of on vectorized layers uh, it takes a bit of time for them to merge down. But, um, you know, the cool thing about this uh, method is that. You know, these tools are available as, as far as I know in pretty much every version of Photoshop. So, um, it's, you know, you might want to think about taking advantage of this, of these tools, of this method, uh, in your next um, environment painting. And okay, so once they're all merged down into the one layer, just Make sure you rename your layouts to uh, something like perspective, perspective guidelines, um, and that's just uh, you know good practice. Stop confusion, and then you're pretty much ready to go uh, in regards to starting up your sketch. Um, it's quite easy. Um, just make you know. You can Take down the opacity of your perspective guidelines uh, just to see the scene a bit better, to see what you're painting. And um, I'll uh, change the color just so you guys can see this a bit better. But um, as you can see from this point onward, it's pretty straightforward. Oops, one layer. Um, you know, once you've got a solid setup for your perspective, uh, drawing becomes quite easy, very easy in fact. Um, and as far as I know, this method is one of the fastest methods that I've come across. Of course, if you guys know of a better method, uh, feel free to post that down the bottom in the comments section, as well as any questions you might have for me about this uh, this video. I'll be happy to, more than happy to answer them for you. Um, but yeah, I do hope this helps, guys. Hope to see you all next time. And there we have it. Good luck, guys. Catch you later.